more and more I see on these prayers, more and more I'm afraid that this owner got scammed. Friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Tota Maintenance YouTube channel. I already filmed one video on this channel about this 2008 Toyota Prius with 176,000 miles on the odometer. So I'm performing the detailed inspection for the owner. We already discussed he has a problem with the hybrid battery. And obviously I'm going from left to right bottom to the top and so on. So one of the things I just recently did, I pulled that engine oil lipstick and look at the oil. And obviously it doesn't matter that there is sticker on the windshield which says that the oil was changed only 1000 miles ago and the interval on this it's 5000 so it's still 4000 miles good to go. You are being paid for it, spend, inspecting something, you better inspect it. You don't believe what it says. Now look at it. This oil is unusual. Why is it unusual? Well, because it's black. There's two thirds of it missing from the top mark. But if you look on my fingers, it's not brown. It should be brown, but this one it's really black and doesn't smell good so i went back right did i did i i'm second guessing myself did i not read the windshield sticker correctly but of course i remember it correctly i confirm that this is only thousand miles when it was done well engineer felt it pretty good MAF sensor looks like almost new, throttle body looks like was, I don't know, from different vehicles, scrapyard, but it's clean down there. So the next was checking the spark plugs. And we mechanics always look at the spark plugs. In the past, they were definitely being used even more as a indicator how is the condition of the engine not only condition on of engine in the past and we speak about the carbureted engines right everybody could see if they are running that carburetor is set up to run lean or the opposite to rich which will mean too much of the uh, fuel being used instead of the air and so on. So in the past the mechanics used spark plugs like a extremely important indicator of the engine shape and condition. Today it's everything is electronic, right? The computer is in the charge of the fuel mixture and so on. But this spark plug, despite the fact it's correct, Denso Iridium SK16R11. This is very correct. I already put it in the uh, in the comments. There are a huge, heavy deposit of a black gunk and also kind of white ashes on that one side of the tip. Let me grab the camcorder instead of this camera. That camcorder is capable of showing way better close-up at that tip. Let me use it right now. Here I will try to zoom on that tip of that spark plug. If you can see that crazy heavy Yeah, do you see this build up? Do you see it? This is really bad. Really, really bad. It might be the correct answer, but look what is happening in that cylinder. 
So what I see, unfortunately, and I'm starting feeling bad for this owner, not only he has a hybrid battery coming, but this engine is not running correctly, there's something happening. Most likely, he has a oil consumption around the piston rings. And they are actually heavy deposits, even on top of the piston. Let me show you. Hopefully, this camera will be able to see the screen on this Milwaukee. I already looked in that cylinder number one and the same stuff which we see on that spark plug is actually on top of that piston. Let me show you. So let's see if I can manage, if this is long enough, if I can manage to show you inside of the engine. So you just put it on, boom. Now it's showing me right here. Hopefully you can see it because we don't have a light. So now I will start using light. You can probably see the probe. It has the four lights and the lens inside. And I will position it down there. And I will try to show you that. So, sorry, it's not easy to do everything for your satisfaction and so on. But you probably... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you see? Come on, Peter. Now we are right there. Do you see these heavy deposits on that piston all over? Look at it. That's a center. It's nicely seen. You see that black chunks of almost like a tar or something? I hope you can see it pretty well. So even if you don't have this camera with a light and so on, you saw all this stuff, the same stuff. You can see it. On that spark plug, the deposits are sticking to it. This engine, unfortunately, has a problem too. Now, when I'm performing these inspections, I just take the number one out. But since we are suddenly making video of it, let's take also, let's take one more. Let's take the number two. It's not much space here, but it's doable, so it's still doable. You know, on different generations of the Prius, we will have to remove this to even go and inspect spark plug, remove the coil and inspect the spark plug. So this is way better, way better than the other gen. Let's grab and let's continue together let's check one more and see if it's all over this engine or maybe there is a problem only in the number one Up. oh these ants I was mentioning to you this also it's full of ants this vehicle it's very unfortunate but we have to learn from it i we were oh look at this do you see it let me see do you see that rust what is going on in this car did this guy really got screwed up big big time Oh my goodness, this is getting worse and worse, whatever we touch on this car. Where is my spark plug socket? It was just under the glass. So, this is the cylinder number two. The one is the closest to the main crank, which means on second generation Prius. That means on the passenger side of the vehicle so that's the number one now we are going to number four is the last one on the driver side let's see what's happening guys we will look at that coil ignition coil all that rust on it and so on not funny i'm really worried about this guy uh-huh so this is how it came out so you see 
the continuity. Now this is, this rust has nothing to do with what is happening inside of the engine. I will explain it to you right now. From the past working on at the dealer, it was known that the water collected right here, unfortunately, could be dripping through this, could be dripping on the top of the engine and causing the water in the spark plug tubes possible misfires. There was a chance and it was recorded that the water from here will be a cause for engine and uh, check engine light because the water will get in the spark plug tubes as you see them right here. I cannot move further because I will hit this part with my lens. So hopefully you can see that. That's the rust. And I immediately see different conditions in that cylinder number two. I will explain why. Let's put these things away. For our starters, look at that tape on the number two. Look at the color. It's kind of gray and this is what we are looking for. We don't want to have, see this black gunk, which is on this one. We want to see that light gray color. The gaps are the same, but this looks bigger because there's not that build up on it. All right. So this is absolutely black here. That's that oil, which I was talking about. The black is missing. It's more grayish again on the spark plug number two. So yes, spark plugs can speak. We just have to know their language. And here you can see difference between the coils. This one had no water leaking slowly inside or moisture. And this one, right? That's a rust from that steel, from the metal. And it's all over that spark plug tube. And this video actually continues right now. I saw you, show you, we pulled number one, number two was rusty. The customer ordered, he ordered a replacement of these spark plugs with that OEM Denso. A look at the number three. So look how this one is rusted. But guess what? They really speak. The spark plugs speak. They have their language and you have to understand that. I looked at the tip. Where can I film it better for you? Against what background? The tip seems to be wet. I just pulled it out. All right, I'm putting brand new ones. You can see how they look like, like beautiful brand new spark plugs. They are iridiums, but the tip is wet. And what's the language, how they speak to us? Well, there's total smell of unburned fuel. It's not the other ones, if I compare it. This one has that nice, as we said, grayish, grayish surface. So I don't understand why this vehicle also doesn't have a coat for the misfires because it's kind of on startup. It's kind of a little bit rattling. It has too many problems, obviously. But this one, I smell fuel. It's that smell. It's very interesting how you can smell it. Let's go on that last one on the number four. Like fuel. And has again, as we are starting learning about those puppies, right? This one has that gray tip. So basically, it, it's it's very bad. It's too bad. Uh, also, the combustion. Huh, it's every single cylinder, the spark plug looks completely different. It's unbelievable. This engine really, maybe it was sitting somewhere for a super long time, and now it's trying to be alive again but these spark plugs really can tell you so much about the shape and condition of that engine why i smelled the fuel on the 
other number three cylinder? Well, it could be because the injector, fuel injector, may be partially clogged, there might be dirt in it, and it's not spraying that perfect spray pattern, and it's shooting more like a stream of the fuel, so one of the injectors might be not performing perfectly, and that's why I smell that fuel. I really don't smell it on this one, on number four, and we can see the color, it's actually the tip, at least the tip has a good color, there's not that heavy, heavy residue of the oil. That inner, that central tip is not covered by the white ashes or black heavy gunk from that engine oil. So this is better than the other one. So I hope you enjoy this and be subscribed. I have way more coming your way soon. See ya.